everyone, welcome to another match day vlog. I can't make the coach welcome in tomorrow, so we're gonna make it. Ah! The whole just flew everywhere, and there's blue pyrotechnic. Here we go. Here we fly at the Cherry Chop Six, Everton, Newcastle. The early start in the night time. And look at this. <laughs> I can't make the coach welcome in tomorrow, so we may as well set off a pyrotechnic. Everton, 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 Come it. Wait. <laughs> um, okay. It's still going. Well, they both of them. Then. We're gonna smell all of them across Goodison Park tomorrow. Two for twenty pounds. Like four for twenty pounds. Excuse my connection. At Bootle Fire Shop. So then, tomorrow, which will be today, because it's not worth saying that because I'm uploading it whenever. But tomorrow, let's do it. So I'm going from today. I've got work till seven o'clock. I'm going from Prescott to Goodison Park from work. So. I can't make the coach welcome in tomorrow, so that made up for it. Up the fucking top tops. <laughs> so say toffees. Hope you all enjoy this vlog. Ah, uh, some dickhead drivers. Can't even get to work now, so carry on with the vlog. Up the toffees. Yeah. yeah. But, well, the difference is that the match doesn't start until 8 o'clock. It doesn't look so bad now, the It looks alright, but some dickheads in their lorry just come flying in and knock the wing wheel off, flying into our lane. Fucking frustrating, a brand new car. Should have got the wing mirror took off. I mean, it get fixed, it's 50 quid, but come on. Driving off, do we have to pay it now? The insurance, obviously. We'll just turn around and say, look, I haven't got his registration, but not we can do ones. We go, mistakes happen. Uh, Score prediction, Div Dad, for Everton, Newcastle. 1 0 Everton. Are you going to say Newcastle then, but Everton. Everton. Oh, we need the win, don't we? You need the win, and you're going to get. Desperately. Yeah. Come on. Nice one, Div Dad. Fucking hell. Now I've got a bag on the car. <laughs> See you later. But gonna go to the brick now for the pint before the game because I did have wear, but did I was being very late. Fucking frustrated that that car has got bashed into. Now I'm frustrated about the fact that I forgot my wallet. Just went to the brick, seen Spenog, and I've got a Madsley. Here we go, Spencer, what score do you reckon? First of all, lads, no, it's too early to give a score prediction. Very early, we need to see the line up, don't we? We need to see the line Definitely. Imagine you're a nice one, Spencer. Mm. But I play some Blackpool selling them for about six quid, weren't they? Oh, yeah, the pub that I used to work. Yeah, six quid for the Madsley. Fucking hell, but hit it in there. Got good prices for Madsley and good prices overall, on the bit. Got our transport and all that with them as well. And I say this Madsley is an ace out of ten. It tastes absolutely lovely. <laughs> Team, we're supreme number one. Team, we're supreme number one. And we love you, Everton. Here we go. Old team to play for, it's a grand old team to support, and if you know, you're this today. Hey, Rowan, score positions, lads. 3 0. 3 0. Score positions, lads. Score position. 1 0 over today. It was bit, everyone has to spec off um, Rowan has done. Um, what? The, the runs you've done. Uh, Mention it in my vlog, the class. Yeah, 2,500 raised. Absolutely appreciate it. Everyone's got to do that. I've got to mention that. Appreciations. <laughs> Yes, lads. Yes, 
Well, I've gave Spence and me fucking whatever it is and a smoke bomb because I'm too much of a shit house to send it off. That was, that was one of the best coach welcomes I've ever been to. Yeah, it was. Good job, we're in the South Dakota. <laughs> Holes everywhere. Who started me? Right, so it's Spencer recording. <laughs> Look what we've just I saw at the back of Sean's neck. How have you done that? That's when you went down, you know. Was that from me? Yeah, you fucking set your pad off in the fucking. <laughs> oh, you've me. He's got a bird mark. Oh, yes. You've got the Sky Sports. Sky Sports I'm on a Sky Sports boys. person's phone, lads. Oh, See me in the background, just fucking glassed that. Sick. All a confetti. Every and everywhere. Really trying to find them, too. But you know what? The on cloud turned blue, but hey, I've got now got Everton on cloud. It's got Everton on cloud. Right. My pants haven't got any holes in this. That matters. That doesn't matter, sorry. And I've got about two, three holes in my coat. So who gives a shit? Better than the other coat, which fucking has fucking fluff coming out of it. But what a view it got to some bar. That looks boss. On the hot walk, that flag. Loving it. Here we go, Spencer. May as well get you into a little interview with score position here. Stop using oh. vapes, that is naughty. That was out of nowhere. Anyway, lads, what score do you reckon it'll be? Um, a lineup's out yet? No, there's still five minutes until. Like, right, no, get, get it at 3 1 now and go in, check, okay. check the lineups in five right. minutes. Right. Okay, I'll, another position. I'll give you a, a pre score prediction. I'm going to say. I'm feeling very confident after how the fans have just turned up there. I'm going to go for a 2 1 to Everton. Hopefully it happens, but we just never know. But I'll give you my actual score prediction as soon as the lineups are out. Go ahead. So right, I actually look like a fucking... Well, you know what? I look like a bad Smith. But anyway, I've got Smith bubblegum. And I've got an um, apple cider any fresher. Teddy Shaw. Go on. What score do you reckon it'll be? 1-0 um, McNeil. 1-0 McNeil, I'd do it that. And the lineup's out, Spencer, so... Oh, hey, yeah. Drop it a check. Who's the last one? Yes, yeah, lad. It's only me, said 2-0 Everton. Let's fucking hope. Yeah, walking around trying to find Spencer's mates. See you later. In a bit, lads, we'll just walk around a bit. 
Yeah, we need to fucking win. But yeah, um, I'm trying to walk around. Father spent his night. And I want him to walk around with. So. Well, what score do you reckon it'll be, lads? One all draw. You know, I'd take a point against Newcastle, but we need a win. But I'd take a point because we're Newcastle. The atmosphere is going to be fucking immense here. Hey, Spencer. Right. Line up, Sal. What score do you reckon with that line up, then? What is, lads? With the line up, I'm actually feeling very confident now, especially with Onana and Gaia in midfield. Gaia, he does slip up a bit sometimes, but he's a very experienced player. We've got Keane and um, Tarkowski at the back. Two really big defenders. That's really going to scare the Newcastle front line. Um, I'm going to go for 2-1 to Everton, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Hey, awesome. Thank you very much, Spencer, for that. Hughes, the Gladys Street ticket. Get him in the Gladys. Well, our coach welcome him was brilliant. Nice one, Spencer, as well, but yeah, um, let's try this club here. Yeah, this goes. It's shitty. So, I was thinking I'm in a Gladys Street, but the seat was too far back on the very corner of the Gladys Street. Everton, Everton, Everton. And the view just wasn't good. So I leaned back on the seat, but I still couldn't see it. My phone could get the angles, but my eyes couldn't see the other end of Park End. So now I'm back to the usual seats in the main stand, which I don't mind either. So you can still see both goals. People go, oh look, you must have a shit view. I can still see both goals in the main stand, so I'm not bothered. But anyway, I still appreciate Spencer for you know getting the ticket. Yes, lads. But yeah, um, yes, lads. How are we? Good. Well, lads, mess up the fans. Score predictions, lads. 1-1. 1-0. 1-0 Everton. We'll do with that. Come on. Nice one, have a good night. Kick off to Devon. It's 7 pounds 50 for beer, yeah. Shits and curry and a Fanta. In fact, it's fantastic. Especially for the football ground, just look for the burger. Eight seven pounds fifty for one in Southport. Put back here and say that. Come here, big man. Come on. Fucking hell. That was one of the best burgers I've ever tasted. So nice. To Goodison Park. Woo. Everton. Never shone so brightly. Right, let's have an intake on Newcastle then. I don't mind the funds. Oh yes, here we go. The sirens are coming up. But yes, I don't mind Newcastle. Because, look, the good club, they have got a good set of fans. Especially away fans, they always impress every year. You do find force about it, but that's what happens in football with those teams. And we need to fucking win this. Chips and curry for Div Dogs. Come on! I must be as Again, flinging the T Rex. I went in a reverse fixture at St. James's Park. We only had one shot at goal. But we held up well because we've had to look good at St. James's. Moving. We have five and up in 20 minutes. Winning 6 1 against Spurs.
back off he wants to do. I should have played Cameron winning a bit earlier then. Shots ever, Andy Gordon, like his mission. Andy Gordon, it's even worse. Mikolenko was shite, but no point having a left back even there. The Pickford needs to stop playing the ball. But at the end of the day, Germany saves a shot. Not just Pickford's fault, the defence needs to turn onto it when he does it as well. I feel sorry for Pickford at the same time. Come on, Michael Keane, lads. Oh, well in. Come on. Come on, Michael Keane, lads. Get into him, get into him, get into him! Oh, fucking hell, lads. Uh, There's no one in the box. No one could put a high ball into Carver Lewin either, like Dingy did. Just too slow. always offside. Every time VAR looks, you do everything to get out the way of everything. Everything. Marginal. Pass by never celebrated too much. See it with Carver Lewin. Carver Lewin, it in the air. Half time one. Nil to Newcastle. Carver Lewin got frustrated. Kicked the ball. It's only in the top corner. Half time but... So annoying. Probably the first half reaction for me, I've been too bad. Kevin Newcastle had most of the time, he's had a dog down for this thing from Jordan Pickford. Not just him, the defence as well. So I can't just blame Pickford. The defence never clocked on to me. Mikhail Co was poor. Never put his foot in. 
and that's where they've cost. Overall, that's their only chance to barely have this game. But when Tarkovsky slid it to his own goal, Pickford made a good save. I'll give him that. Pickford's a good goalkeeper, but a shot stopping when he can actually save the ball and tip it behind for the corner or catch it. But when he hits it out into the day zone, that's what winds me up and majority of us fans up. And we're in big danger. If we don't win this game, got less trouble. If you don't win now, then we are and truly fucked.
It's about fucking five minutes left or whatever. And I just look at the position I'm sitting in. I just want to come and stay in small it's painful. <laughs> but you know, I'll tell you till the end. Set Eddie into water draw now, like. <laughs> and still, we haven't got that last so one. I'm just thinking Rafael Benitez. What is his fourth round? Defense is poor. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my He's already done us there, the one-two little fast move. And Pickford's all the way there. He's all the way out. He did a strong ball, eh? And Pope Carter can read it all in your fucking mind. Oh my god. And we still give him chances. That is Mikolenko, lad. He is fucking shit. In a bit, lads. What are you doing, you stupid compo? We're going on to our fans, doing that to them. Fuck off. Five minutes had them on to the Lord, mate. Check and goal, possible outside. That one really means nothing, really. It's not a good game. Guaranteed, yeah. Oh, here we go. Lions getting drawn on the screen. <sighs> Thank God I'm off for this game. 
more acceptable. Absolutely not. Shit performance from the shit team. Newcastle fans loved it all game. Don't blame them. Put it in the Champions League. Dead for us. But I know one of the top six supporters out there is his last two. Good support. That's a whole lot of them. Fuck it, it's roaches. I'm looking at this dickhead movie play. I'm going to shrink down this one. Spineless cunt. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good night if you just can. You can some fun as you as well. Have a good fun. Massive thank you for See you all in my next vlog. Probably going to be the Andy Wearless Mums Club. Or Raise Awareness. Whatever one it is. Put the links in the description. Go and donate to the page. I'll drop you to the Instagram. Read it all. I'll be there Saturday. In you. I forgot where it is now. See hole. North Fenerby, that's it. So, yeah. Like, subscribe. And see you all, Sassy. Thanks very much, Luke, as well. Legend for sorting this game out at North Fenerby. Happy to be there as a coach. Happy to just, you know, be one of the top TikTokers, raise money, and everything. It's all legends. Thanks for